Hi guys, Silva here, and welcome in yet another type of newscaster mode, because, uh, you know, toy and stuff. This time, Kotaku, show us new Transformers Cyberverse toys that are to debut in 2019. Uh, the work around the new Spark Armor gimmick, um, which is uh, really similar to Siege Weaponizers, where you simply get a toy, and you get a little vehicle that into a armor and a weaponry for some other toys which is really cool and this line brings out one of my favorite characters but i'm going to talk about him later so for the first we have battle class the basic for spark armor assortment costing 15 usd which is Pretty nice. I, I it's not that bad, especially since those figures seem to have more details, details, and articulation. So let's start with Jetfire. Looking slick as always. I really, I'm really happy that Jetfire gets a little more love uh, these uh, those days, especially with his also siege announced that he got announced for siege. <laughs> Robot mod look. Robot mode looks pretty slick. I can already see the um, elbows, maybe some in the shoulder possibility. His jet mode doesn't look that good. You can completely see his chest. I think the arms, yeah, they simply like fall down. Uh, but robot mode is pretty good. I also really like his face sculpt. It's like really rough and rough and stuff. <laughs> his little partner is this beige tank thingy, which actually actually reminds me of G1 Brand, the tank guy that came with uh, G1 um, Trypticon. When they're like power up and suit up. Oh, now also thinking. This really reminds me of a Kenner toy line, I think, called Centurions, where you got like a dude who has like a whole suit with 5mm ports, and you can like stick onto different parts to make, uh, give them different abilities. Jetfire mode looks kinda... Uh, it reminds me of like bread with jam, which started to get mold on it. Like, why did they chose beige for him? But I think I will still buy uh, one Jetfire, mostly for the tank. And I will repaint it as Brunt, or I will take the cannon and give it to some figure as a normal weapon. After we have Prowl, which from what I remember we got like a, a normal deluxe Prowl in the first year of Cyberverse. Which looked also pretty cool. This one is also nice. I like his chin, <laughs> really weird, but yeah, also, like, I really like the Cyberverse face sculpts, they're re really detailed and stylized. Car mode is also pretty nice, like, it, it reminds me of like something from a cartoon from the 80s. And the vehicle that he comes with is a space jet thingy, which reminds me of like, Kinder Surprise Egg or Kabaya um, little build models, mostly because the windows are unpainted. Also, it reminds me of uh, Trigger Happy from Titans Return. And combined, they look like something from uh, Brave Police J. Decker, mostly due to the blue color scheme with a gigantic re uh, yellow star. Mm. After that, we got Starscream, and oh boy, does he look bad. Like, the face scope is still nice, but he's so grey. Like, well, if I would ever get it, I would really need to paint him up a little with red. Like, maybe on his shoulders and legs. His partner vehicle is, uh... Damn it, I didn't check how is this thing named. Uh, never mind, let's move on to it. 
and the way he like bu- he equips it, it reminds me of like there's like a bootleg robot that's like a bootleg of a Korean robot that is a bootleg of a GoBot and stuff. I will show it the pic now if I find it. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. The head crest reminds me like. A lot of those power-ups remind me of, like, early thousand uh, animes and Power Rangers where simply the vehicle locked onto the uh, uh, arms and legs of the robot. Oh, no, so thinking that it reminds me of Energon Optimus Prime. Maybe we will get one in this style. And our final boy for this prize class is my lovely, my favorite, one and only Skybite. Like, I really like Skybite. I will totally get this toy, mostly because it is Skybite, especially since he also looks to have a pretty articulate arms. And it's Skybite. The, the, like, he's the only toy and character from Re 2001 that Hasbro loves. He appears in only comics, and he also got another toy uh, in Generations and stuff. But yeah, it turns into like this chubby shrug that's so cute. I love him. He's like a little round squeak toy. And his partner is a drill tank thingy. Which... Uh, it it does work with like he's holding the drill. And he also holds like his blender deft arm. <laughs> but okay. Pretty cool. I don't know what else to say. Now let's move on to the next uh, price point. Elite class. The price elite class assortment will return for 24 USD, which is like a lot more. So I don't know if I will pick those up. With more elaborate armor vehicles and features Bumblebee, Megatron, and Optimus Prime. Bumblebee looks pretty sweet. From what I know, he's on the with the show, and I think I think I will also get him because like. The only good toy of Bumblebee... This is probably the only good toy of this universe, Bumblebee, which I really like. But I will need to paint up the Kamut, because look at the front bumper. It looks like a stick of cheese. The ship is also pretty cool. Like I like the deta- detailing, even though you can completely see the fingers and stuff. And his <laughs> his combined form... This was the first pick I saw, so I so I, I didn't knew if there were like armors that latched onto normal figures simply came up like this and it was untransformable. But the first thing that came into my mind when I saw this was Kamen Rider Snipe level 50 bang bang simulations from Kamen Rider X8. <laughs> but but just look at it. He has the gigantic shoulders, the shape parts. Uh, it's also a small armor that latches onto him, just like the uh, toy of uh, the Kamen Rider. But I also like the face sculpt of the uh, combine. Can I call this a combiner? This is more like a power up. Yeah, this is a power up. It looks like like a battle mask. It has a metallic horns. Like I can imagine there will be an episode where Bumblebee. Um, uses this thing to fight Skybite. Like, it simply smells there will be like a around water episode where Bumblebee's like, jump down into the water and walk with, like, maybe he at first goes normal and is like, beaten up by Skybite, but then he unlocks the, uh, the armor power and he beats his ass. After that, that we have Megaton who looks, ugh, blocky as hell, like, Totally not me. Like the tank mode, you can totally see his pelvis, but. Mm. But! I say but a lot now, I notice. Also, like, the accessory of his is a helicopter that really reminds me of Generation 1 Spinister. And now, also thinking, it reminds me of the Duocon Battle Slash. And, the, and when they combine, now I think this actually like also reminds me of Death Sarus from. Uh, Transformers Victory, or oh, Death's Death, uh, De- the main bad guy. I don't know. I also love the like the lollipop, uh, spiky mace thingy, which totally do- isn't trying to hide itself on the helicopter mode. And finally, Optimus Prime. 
I kind of like this look, not counting that he has his whole fr front ramper on his butt. He still looks like heroic, nice. Reminds me kind of the new Rescue Bots design with those gigantic boots. And the vehicle he comes with is a grey jet who has miniguns to fire. And when they combine, they look kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe this is a reference to something from the Transformers, the movie Revenge of the Fallen, which is a reference to Transformers Armada. Like, this this looks like a jetting, firing, powered Optimus Prime. Hmm. And finally, we, we, finally, we have Arc Power Optimus Prime. Finally, the centerpiece of the Spark Armor line is Arc Power Optimus Prime retailing at $50. Ooh. This 12 inch figure vehicle companion is an Autobot Arc spaceship which recently played a key role in the first season finale of Cyberverse cartoon. Yeah, like, I don't know, I, I didn't watch the Cyberverse cartoon yet, so I can't have an opinion, but from what I know, like, the Arc is important in it, so maybe there will be like an episode where, like, they, like, unlock the true potential of the Arc and it, like, combines with Optimus. Mm. This Optimus itself looks kinda good, not counting his small head. Like, I really like the previous version much more. Mostly to the head and leg design. And the armor dab form, now thinking, reminds me of the... Like, the Prime Unicron from Transformers Prime, where there, there was like a, also like a orange armor that mounted onto him or a Megatron. And in vehicle mode, it's Optimus Prime holding a gigantic piece of arc. And yeah, that's it. I really like it. I will for sure buy the Skybite. So yeah, thank you for listening yet again uh, to my like news thingy. And they're really popular. So yeah, thank you for watching all of this stuff. Oh, also, I want to notice, uh, they say something. When I first saw Starscream, uh, I saw it, like, far away, and I thought that, like, grey and yellow character with a shovel arm, hmm, maybe it's Grimlock, referencing his... Uh, Robots in Disguise 2001 form. But, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching and listening and stuff. See you next time. I'm still working on the review. It's pretty complicated and stuff. So, yeah. Bye. Love ya. <laughs> Good.